Hello guys and welcome to Tecmo. Today in this video, we will look at the top 10 Aston Martin cars in the world. Make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video to know what these cars are. Number 10. DBS Superleggera The DBS Superleggera is a high-performance GT from Aston Martin. It has a 5.2-liter twin-turbocharged V12 engine that produces 715 horsepower at 6,500 RPM and 900 newton meters of torque between 1,800 and 5,000 RPM. The V12 unit has been placed as low and as far back in the chassis as feasible to maximize the center of gravity and weight distribution. It has a top speed of 211 miles per hour and can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds, which is impressive for a car meant to cross continents rather than racetracks. That's not to imply the DBS suffers when cornering. In fact, it shines in quick turns. The 180 kilograms of downforce gives stability at high speeds, and the DBS seems compliant on flat asphalt at least. Number 9. DBX the Aston Martin DBX is a mid-sized luxury crossover SUV that will be available starting July 9, 2020. Despite its similarities to the Vantage, the DBX is designed on its own platform. It's made of bond aluminum panels and extrusions, just like the rest of the Aston Martin lineup. Mercedes-Benz provided the powertrain and infotainment technology. The Mercedes-AMG DBX is powered by the M177 4.0-liter twin-turbocharged V8 engine, which produces 542 horsepower and 700 newton meter of torque. The DBX has a top speed of 181 miles per hour and can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. It was the first Aston Martin to include all-around air suspension and ride height adjustment of 95 millimeters, as well as powerful 48 volts and a body rod system that kept the wheels grounded at all times. Number 8. 2018 Vantage The Aston Martin Vantage is a two-seater sports automobile designed by Aston Martin. It's also a replacement for the previous model, which had been in production for 12 years. The Vantage, like the DB11, uses Mercedes-Benz powertrain and infotainment technology. The Vantage is powered by a Mercedes-AMG M177 4.0-liter twin-turbocharged V8 engine with 503 horsepower and 685 newton meter of torque as well as the Mercedes command system. The Vantage can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds and reach a top speed of 195 miles per hour. Number 7. V12 Vanquish the V12 Vanquish is a classic British Grand Tourer with a V12 engine. It was the Mark's flagship car when it was introduced in 2001, and it had its flaws. The gearbox was terrible, and if you've ever driven one, you'll recall how bad it was. Nonetheless, it was regarded at the time as the finest GT. In 2004, the S model was introduced, and it was produced until 2007. In 2012, the Vanquish name was resurrected for the second-generation vehicle. The DBS was succeeded by this automobile, which was significantly superior to the first-generation Vanquish. It was powered by a V12 engine with 565 horsepower in the base model and 595 horsepower in the S model. Number 6. Vulcan The Aston Martin Vulcan is a two-door, two-seat, high-performance lightweight track-only car introduced at the 2015 Geneva Motor Show by British luxury automobile maker Aston Martin. The Vulcan is a fast car that can only be driven on the track. Although it lacks a handbrake, it does have air conditioning. The engine, a 7.0-liter naturally aspirated V12, produces 820 horsepower at 7,750 RPM and 780 newton meter of torque at 6,500 RPM and it's housed in an aluminum alloy chassis with a carbon fiber body. The Vulcan creates downforce at GT3 levels, which is fantastic. This automobile will have more than 1,300 kilograms of downforce, which is ridiculous. Brembo carbon ceramic brakes provide excellent braking performance. Unfortunately, only 24 of these cars were produced at a cost of $2.3 million. Before we move on to the next car on our list, we would appreciate it if you give the video a thumbs up if you are enjoying it. Please also consider sharing and subscribing to the channel. That would be fantastic. Number 5. DBR1 The Aston Martin DBR1 was a sports racing car produced by Aston Martin 
beginning in 1956 and intended for use in both championship and non-championship sports car races. It is most known for winning the 1959 24 Hours of Le Mans, which was Aston Martin's only outright victory in the endurance race. To comply with that year's Le Mans 24-hour regulations, the DBR1 was initially fitted with a smaller 2.5-liter new all-alloy racing engine, which was loosely derived from the racing version of the Lagonda straight-6 engine, while the RB6.300 straight-6, rated at 250 horsepower, was developed for the 1957 season. Nowadays, the DBR1 is extremely valuable. One was sold for more than $22 million in 2017, setting a global record for the British-built automobile. The DBR half is the DBR1 with the most history, as it is the exact car that won Le Mans in 1959. Number 4. DB7 The Aston Martin DB7 is a grand tourer that is credited with saving the company. The DB7 was dubbed Jag and Drag and sold in the millions around the world. It was essentially a part spin on wheels with massive 323 door handles and a Jaguar XJ6 engine that was supercharged. The interior was also a shambles, with four parts strewn throughout. So what was it that made this automobile so good? It did, however, establish a new path for Aston Martin. It was attractive, fast, and attracted a large number of new customers to the brand. It was originally powered by a 3,228cc engine that produced 335 horsepower at 5,500 RPM and 489 Newton meters at 3,000 RPM. It has a top speed of 165 miles per hour and can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds. Aston Martin would not exist today if it hadn't been for the success of this car. Although the build quality was poor, it was more than enough to revive the brand for the next generation. Number 3. V600 Le Mans the V600 Le Mans is an Aston Martin from the past. It was named after the triumph of the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Only 40 of these cars were made, marking the end of the V8 Vantage production line in 1999. This car has 604 horsepower and 820 pound-feet of torque, which is still rather impressive even now. The car has a reported top speed of 199 miles per hour and a 0 to 62 miles per hour acceleration time of 3.9 seconds. Because just 40 Le Mans cars were ever produced, they are now extremely valuable. Each automobile was built to order, and the initial number plates were designed around the name of the car's first owner. These cars were unique, and they were among the most powerful automobiles available at the time. Number 2. DB11 The Aston Martin DB11 is a Grand Tourer that has been built since 2016 that has been built since 2016 and is possibly the best GT Aston Martin has ever produced. It debuted as a replacement for the DB9 at the Geneva Motor Show in March 2016. However, in terms of build quality, performance, and technology, it is a world apart from the DB9. The DB11 V12 is powered by an all-new AE31 twin-turbocharged V12 engine with a displacement of 5,204 cc making it the first turbocharged series production Aston Martin. At 6,500 RPM, the engine produces 600 horsepower and 700 Newton meters of torque between 1,500 and 5,000 RPM. The DB accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds and has a top speed of 200 miles per hour. The DB11 is a fun, fast, and comfortable car thanks to Aston Martin's magic. And finally, number one, the DB5. The Aston Martin DB5 is a luxury Grand Tour. It was an evolution of the final series of DB4 and was released in 1963. The DB5 is the most well-known James Bond car, having initially appeared in the 1964 James Bond film Goldfinger. The DB5 is powered by a 3,995cc 4.0-liter engine with a torque of 390 newton meters at 3,850 RPM and a power output of 282 horsepower at 5,500 RPM and a power output of 282 horsepower at 5,500 RPM. The Aston Martin DB5 has a top speed of 145 miles per hour in a 0 to 60 miles per hour's time of 8 seconds. The DB5 may be a nightmare to drive, but it is a work of art to look at. 
That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Let us know which one you like the most in the comment section. Until next time.